Have you opened your secret Santa yet? If you haven't, uh, go away now and do it if you can, or don't watch this video because I'm about to reveal what it is. Uh, John here at Microasis, and uh, I hope you've had a uh, fantastic festive season. Um, it's uh, it's only Boxing Day, the day after Christmas here in uh, here in the UK, and uh, and I hope I find you well, not too full, uh, feeling fantastic, um, uh, now possessing many more gifts and uh, items than you did before uh, before yesterday. And, uh, and I hope the uh, Microasis Secret Santa did the trick in, in bringing back that boyhood excitement of uh, unwrapping something that you weren't quite sure what it was. So uh, um, fingers crossed you liked what was inside as well. And I thought I would do a very quick, um, I suppose, uh, uh, explanation really as to, uh, as to why I picked the Softwith Pub. Um, which uh, is obviously what was in what was in the kit. The uh, the pup really wasn't on my radar um, at all. I didn't know a, a great deal about it. I knew obviously knew about it, its its existence. Um, uh, I've seen it at, uh, at many air shows and uh, and seen it at the at, at various museums as well. But uh, I hadn't really thought about it too much um, until uh, this year. At, uh, at Wood Spring Wings, um, which is a, a two-day show um, run by the uh, uh, the Wood Spring um, Model Aviation uh, Club, and um, it's a fantastic event. grows every year, um, but uh, this year on the Saturday evening, um, we the, the the weather was beautifully calm, and uh, so we we got a few of the microasis aircraft up in the air and flying around and uh, obviously had a, a few onlookers seeing as the bar was still open and and it was such a lovely evening everyone was sticking around and uh, at the show at that day there had been the uh, the dawn patrol guys uh, who fly these magnificent one-third scale aircraft and uh, uh, put on a fantastic uh, display of first world first world war biplanes and tripods. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Need to eat less cheese. Uh, anyway, um, at, I digress. At this uh, at this show uh, in the evening, um, the the guys, the pilots uh, of these uh, of these aircraft, um, uh, wanted to have a go with the uh, the Microasis uh, kit. So uh, so obviously, um, because they're a hell of a lot better pilot than uh, pilots than I am. Um, they enjoyed it so much that they actually invited me onto the flight line when they were doing their display on the Sunday. Um, so I went along and, uh, and was on, on the flight line and uh, of course their models are extremely impressive. And in fact, the majority of them were soft with pups. And I thought they flew so well and looked so beautiful in the air that uh, I, I thought, well, I've got to do, I've got to do a soft with pup. Um, they actually came and parked their uh, their aircraft once they'd done their display outside of our tent as well, which was uh, which was fantastic. So I, I, the the eye candy was there. I was uh, I was seeing them for great lengths of time, um, so uh, so I could study and uh, and look at them and uh, and decide what uh, what needed to be done. So um, that's the reason really why I decided to uh, to go for the Sopwith pup now. As to the uh, delivery, of course, there were many um, options that were available to us um, uh, as the uh, as the, the, the pup was uh, used uh, extensively um, in uh, in the First World War, both uh, in the front line and then after in, in training as well, because it was uh, such a docile aircraft uh, to fly and much loved by the pilots. Um, so... Um, I decided in the, at the end of the day, um, one, because my father was a, a naval man, and two, I thought the, the story was significantly historic, um, that uh, it would make a, uh, a sort of a fantastic limited edition kit. So I chose that of um, uh, Dunning, who flew his aircraft, who, who actually demonstrated that uh, an aircraft could be landed on a moving ship um, which really sort of 
kicked off the uh, the idea of the aircraft carrier really there were there were other people who did similar things and the thought was there but um he was the first person to to demonstrate that it could be done onto a uh, a moving vessel so uh, so i thought that would be that would be really appropriate for something really special um for a secret santa gift so so there we go that's um that was why the uh, the livery and the aircraft were uh, were chosen at this stage, I uh, haven't done the um, the complete build uh, or the build video, but um, but we're getting there, and there is something for you to uh, to get your teeth into after this video. As you know, now we're doing m many more um, uh, video assembly guides. In fact, that's probably going to be the way forward for us, as I've previously explained. Um, excuse me, <laughs> too much turkey. Um, and uh, so, um, where was I going with this? Yes, video assembly guides. Um, so we're going to be doing um, plenty more of this, and the software pup is uh, is one of those where you know we we are going to be showing you how to build it um, using uh, using the delights of YouTube. Um, all of these video assembly guides um, have their own uh, little space on uh, on YouTube. Um, which is known as a playlist. Uh, so uh, each aircraft will have its own uh, playlist for uh, for the build, and it allows you to uh, to easily locate um, the, uh, the the various uh, bits of knowledge that you need to follow um, to, uh, to to build the aircraft. And also the other thing that I probably uh, this is a reiteration of what I've said before, but um, if English isn't your first language, um, you can actually get the subtitles, which will be translated into the, your first language, or the language you find easiest to understand me in, um, uh, actually put on, overlaid onto the video as it is running um, real time, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, so there we go. So. I hope you uh, uh, appreciate why we uh, why we did the pup. I hope it is something that you will enjoy building and flying. And uh, we have a, a new livery pup as well. If you uh, if you quite fancy uh, having a couple in your uh, in your fleet in in your squadron, um, then uh, then there's another livery. And of course, there are some other exciting liveries uh, out there for the pup. Please send in your suggestions if you have any. Uh, what you'd like to see next with the uh, with the sock with pup, and uh, we'll certainly take it into consideration. But for now, have a fantastic New Year's celebration. Um, enjoy the rest of uh, of Christmas, and uh, and please take a look at the, uh, the the start of the build video too. And uh, for the guys out there who. Um, uh, frequently build micro aces kits um, you can probably zoom ahead without the need for a video but um, uh, yeah <laughs> there, there aren't too many surprises with uh, with this particular kit being our, our first secret Santa um, we'll have to see what we can come up in come up with in future years but um, anyway still got the tea um, still haven't touched a drop of alcohol unfortunately um, but, uh, you know, I'm the, the designated driver. Anyway, here's to 2024, and we'll see you then. Cheers.